cause and effect diagrams. It is also called an Ishikawa diagram or fishbone chart. It identifies many possible causes for an effect and problem and sorts idea into useful categories. The causes are usually grouped into six major categories to identify the sources of variation. They are manpower, anyone who involved in the process, methods, way of performing the process, machines, any equipment or tools required to accomplish the job, materials, raw materials used to produce the final product, measurements, data generated from the process to evaluate its quality. Mother Nature – Conditions in which process operates This is the sample construction of cause and effect diagram. Benefits of cause and effect diagrams Breaks problems down into bit-sized pieces to find out the root cause. Implement in teamwork. Common understanding of factors causing the problem. Roadmap to verify picture of the process. Flowcharts. The flowchart is a diagram that represents workflow or process showing the steps as boxes of various kinds and their order by connecting them with arrows. This diagrammatic representation illustrates a solution model to given problem. Generally used in analyzing, designing, documenting a sequence of events or solving a given problem. Benefits Understand the process Identify process improvements Shows duplicated effort and other non-value added steps Clarify working relationships between people and organizations This is the sample construction of flowchart. Checksheets a check sheet is used to collect and organize the data in real time at the location where data is generated. In typical check sheet, data recorded by making marks on it. Benefits Collect data in a systematic and organized manner. To determine source of problem. To check the shape of the probability distribution of a process. To keep track of the completion of steps in a multi-step procedure. This is the sample construction of check sheet. Histograms A histogram is a graphical representation of the distribution of numerical data. It is a chart with columns represents the distribution of data points. Useful to determine the spread or variation of set of data points in a graphical form. Benefits Allows you to understand at a glance the variation that exists in a process. The shape of the histogram will show process behavior. The shape and size of the dispersion will help identify otherwise hidden sources of variation. Use it to determine the capacity of a process. This is the sample construction of histogram. Pareto charts. The Pareto chart contains both bars and line graph where individual values are represented in descending order by bars and cumulative total is represented by the line. It is used for identifying a set of priorities. It is also used to work on the propriety issues in order to get the condition under control. This is the sample construction of Pareto chart. Control Charts The purpose of a control chart is to predict expected product outcome. Generally used to determine if a manufacturing process is in a state of statistical control. Control chart is the best tool for monitoring the performance of a process. Benefits Predict the process out of control and out of specification limits. Logical comparison of collecting data. This makes the control limits very important decision making tools. This is the sample construction of control chart. Scatter diagrams. Scatter diagram is a type of mathematical diagram to display values for typically two variables from a set of data. It shows the correlation between two variables in a process. Data displayed as a collection of points having the value of one variable determining the position on the horizontal axis and the value of the other variable determining the position on the vertical axis. 
dots that look like they are trying to form a line are strongly correlated helps identify and test probable causes this is the sample construction of scatter diagram